Sonnet 2000 has been played before. Snowy Castle. Navigate the castle grounds to relight candles in this atmospheric exploration game. Key. Loop. I like atmospheric exploration games. Those are like my favorite games. Give. Are they really? <laughs> yeah. I just like to explore. There just needs to generally be like a really compelling environment or like really cool gameplay loops built into the exploration. Like say a Dark Souls game. <laughs> you, you find finally oh. awake to sleep through all of this wind. Keeps me up at night. That pacing is interesting. Yeah, it's a little rough to read. I feel like I've seen something like this. Amnesia, the Dark Descent. Why don't you make yourself useful and relight the candles around the castle? It's a little hard to read. Kitty! Why are we back to eat cats? Because <laughs> cause they're scary, dude. But obviously it didn't look like a PS1 game, although there is a PS2 demake of Amnesia mod. But uh, I want to look I want to look at that. It's weirdly, I looked into it and there wasn't a single video on YouTube that I could find of it, which was weird. But uh, yeah, just the aesthetic of walking around in a castle and having like a, a bobbing item in the bottom right corner as like your item is pretty Amnesia. Well, I just, I, what, I'm, I, what I just mean though is like that item specifically. Ah, it's raining caltrops. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it makes you go slower. It just looks like something I've seen in some other form of fantasy before. Yeah. Like the spinning orb inside the little, uh... To some extent it reminds me of games like King's Pentagonal. and Shadow Tower, which are the games that the Dark Souls people made before. I wonder, like, how far to let you explore, because you just, like, walk into the woods forever. Yeah. It's an exploration game. Might take a while to find 24 candles. You can hear them as you approach them. If you walk up to one but don't aren't looking at it, you'll still have an audio hint. Ooh. You hear that? I did. I did hear that. <laughs> like a heartbeat. It's an aqueduct. Actually, no, that's just the walkway. I do like the atmosphere. Yeah. It's kind of pleasant. And they float when you light them. There's a little green growing there. That is an aqueduct, huh? This might be considered sewage. Oh, your sure. oh, I thought your your light went out for a second. <laughs> it's an unusual looking light. I mean, aren't aren't sewers just a type of aqueduct? Aqueduct, quack quack. At least when I think of aqueduct, I think of the. Uh, can I go through the water? Oh, hey, nice <laughs> job. When That's think, how you know Keith plays video aqueduct, games for a living. It might not be entirely accurate, but what I think of is those like big suspended walls that the water goes through. <clears throat> like the equivalent of the uh, that intro to Shadow of the Colossus. That big bridge. Yeah. Like, there's structures like that that carry water. But, but I'm assuming the, the whole system includes the ones that are on the ground. Yeah, but I don't I don't know if you call the other parts aqueducts or not. I don't know if it refers to the system or the structure. Uh Hmm. Oh no! Uh oh. The true horror begins now. Okay. Oh, that I was... still got it. Oh, but you're running out though. Like, it doesn't seem like you can just carry it around with the with the flame there anymore. Yeah, maybe I just want to pop it out to light things. Maybe it's more that I can light other things, but it doesn't really work as a fuel source anymore. <laughs> just smack those. Feels all smooth. Candles. Yeah, no, that, that's the coolest lighter I've ever seen in my life. The flip phone of lighters. <laughs> the clamshell phone of lighters. <laughs> Do you remember watching It Follows? And it confuses me because in that film, everything seems normal. Like, as far as the setting. And then, yeah, randomly there's, like, weird retro technology stuff going the, on. The one girl has a cell phone that looks like a clamshell. 
oh, and they yeah. never bring it up and it just fucking weirds me out it's the only thing in it that seems like out of place yeah that movie has like really strange details but I'm, I'm just like it's it's like a smartphone that looks yeah. like a clam and I'm just like is no one gonna talk about this they're all wearing like modern clothes and like there's modern ish cars like, and I've heard like, some of the fun of, uh, of her is seeing the weird <clears throat> setting that it's in yeah, but, but that one has other elements that imply oh, yeah. that it's yeah, in the it's future. It's explicitly future because it's got like an AI character. There's the, Oh, I don't even have to pull it out. There's literally nothing in It Follows besides that shell phone. That <laughs> The shell phone. <laughs> that is uh, at all in the wrong shell place. Phone. That's the entire reason he put it in. It's just so that people... Just so he can laugh. Phone. Honestly, maybe. Yeah. I maybe would, just I would for do that. that if I made that movies. You would, and that's games. why I know it's possible. Yeah. My shell phone. It's, it's great. I love it. No, her is pretty good. The only thing that was about her that I remember watching it in theaters, and there's an entire like phone sex scene that goes on for a very long time. And you saw it in theaters, <laughs> so like oh, there's like people that are just uncomfortable. There is an that. air of awkwardness that the entire theater, as people just sat yeah. there and watched it together, because it was like, it was like several minutes long. Or like my go-to uncomfortable movie was the fact that I uh, I saw Splice in theaters. And there's people just like uncomfortably laughing at, at that how like distressed they were by some of the stuff that was happening in the film. And they're like, Haha, I got away with something by getting to see this in theaters. I watch people walk out of Midsummer, like very early on, <laughs> and me being like, this solidifies like why I'm here. Yeah. I will sit here longer because this is good. Yeah, I saw old people walk out of the theater at the sh when we reached some of the shocking violence moments in a uh, drive. Like, oh, that's their limit. They're capping out. Goodbye. In Drive? That movie's not even that bad. The elevator. It's not that bad. It's, it's, it's bad for some people. Mm, if you, you yeah. haven't seen Midsummer yet. Had a reaction. <laughs> Midsummer, I was like, I, I, I already had predicted that they would happen. Like a, is that guillotine? Yeah, it does look that way. I long last. Felt for it. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the doors don't open. They make me uncomfortable. Oh, I'm back at the beginning. I um, pretty well What is that myself. thing? I mean, is it, are we ever going to address that? It's the 2D cat person. I mean... I just, it's just there, you Y'all want a light? <laughs> the smoke yeah, cat. You wanna, yeah, you want to bum a cigarette, brother? That's where we started. What if the gate just shut and you're just the, the game over for you? It's just the creepy cat silhouette. Oh fuck, I thought that was a horse for a second. <laughs> you just you should just see things, you know. Welcome back to where we started. Just gonna vaguely try to find new paths to this place, I guess. Yeah, this seems like a I I was worried about how hard it would be to be thorough. There's a wall there though. I've done a decently good job. I'm only missing three after my first lap. You are a professional. Quote, quote. <laughs> <laughs> I get paid for it, at least. My little cousin thinks you're cool. <laughs> and honestly, what else What else do you need? <laughs> the approval of a child. Yes. <laughs> True fulfillment. He's a cool kid, so, you know. Yeah, being thorough here is going to be hard. This place is so open. Tracing this wall like this is probably what I did the first time actually. It's 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 kind of a bummer that the uh, the lights don't like illuminate further outward to where you can see places you've missed yeah, be dark. To help you find more. Yeah. Ooh, it's making weird noises now. It sounds like an airplane passing overhead. Yeah. I just gotta know if something happens and you light all the candles. Yeah, I wanna know, but I also don't know where they are. Who put you in charge of this? <laughs> and who placed them all? It didn't give me a map. Yeah, just, you know, just a... It's a bit of a dig. We'll go and watch our house, and then, yeah, at night, just go ahead and just light all 24 candles. You'll find them, it's fine. It's good, you're fine. You're just fine. Yeah, just walk around, you'll see, I don't know. 
I believe in you. Like all 24, though. But more, and more importantly, if you freeze to death, we don't have to pay you. <laughs> Maybe that's why they want you to light all 24 candles. Don't need to wander around in the dark forever. Until you die. I think I came through here backwards. Yeah. No, that's the place where I would had to be creative. Hmm. I haven't heard a single hum for a while. There's no sprint button, because if you hit shift, you go slower. Shit. <laughs> Gee. It is nice to look at, though. Like, I'm, I'm pleased. I feel like I've generally thoroughly explored the Dude. structured areas. The real horror of the game is the fact that there are only 21 candles. <laughs> just nailed it all on my first try. And that they, uh, they just want to lead you on forever. It's really hard to fight your instincts of like what path you naturally take through an area in order to try to find where you've missed things. Especially with like no map. I tend to do things in general in like a really roundabout way. <laughs> I'm not very detail oriented about anything. I'd have a hard time with something like this. I should like, look over here, look over here, and that's why I get lost. I forget, was there like a variety of floors on the way up? I don't remember. I check them all. I don't remember. I mean, I remember you checking these. I just don't know if there's like a. I feel. I feel like the castle looks so much bigger than what we've seen, but I'm sure a lot of that is just facade. Too many candles are not lit in the dark. <laughs> Too many candles that I can't find. What's that? There's a light, or not a light, but there's like a window. Spooky. It's like Where? a wizard hat. <laughs> Is there a door to this tower? Yeah, how do you actually... Well, I guess you, you don't have the key, but how do you actually get into any of these places? You must not live here. You must just be <laughs> a creep walking around lighting all their candles for fun. So I think I went that way last time, so maybe this way? This seems juicy. Juicy. Like a pair of pants. A pair of pants? With the juicy butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, there's one. Just the pants themselves are juicy and oh delicious. My God. Somebody should take one of those pair of pants and find whatever part of this place is called a parapet. Just put them up there. Oh my gosh. Oh, we found most of them. Shit. Damn it. Now it's, it's even harder now because there's <laughs> only two left or one left. Okay, oh I'm no, not... you're never going to find it. You'll never find it. You found it. You didn't, you didn't pass it. Shit. <laughs> That's a juicy parapet. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna find it now. Are you the final character? I thought I was in the ghost room. <laughs> I'm not in the ghost room. Is there like a passage up here? No. I've been wrong before about having thoroughly explored the castle areas. I was gonna say, it's nice that those weren't like in the woods, but then again, this last one might just be in the woods. Yeah. Too many candles. Excuse me. Sir, can Excuse you tell me. me where the last candle is? Do you need a, do you need a smoke? You need to light your smoke? Like, that just is a cat person, right? Yeah. It's so strange looking. It looks very, um... Shh, it, I can hear you. <laughs> not at all scary. It's very, it, looks, it looks like it would be cute. Is it the artist's avatar? Maybe. It's like, the game? Maybe just it's a little signature. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're so tantalizingly close. Tantalizing. I know, I need to know what freaking happens when you light the last candle. Why does it just be like, congratulations? Or does a monster arrive? 
Or does a cat monster come to life? Come to me, candle. So how's your life going, Keith? Let me find you <laughs> by the light of the moon. Uh, uh, what's, um, <clears throat> like a candle in the wind, <laughs> never knowing who to cling to when the rain sets in. Spooky? I think I really do just have to compulsively, like, zigzag lawnmower pattern through here. Man, Lawnmower Man, that's a movie I haven't seen in a while. That's a movie? Yeah. I'd appreciate it different if I saw it now, I think. I saw it as a kid. So it's like seared into my brain. That's a that's a that's an odd one. Is it a horror film? Uh maybe. Kind <laughs> of. It's in a way. Of, it's kind of Tron meets Flowers for Algernon. Oh. Well that's upsetting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need to watch uh, Rubber, which is like um, a well-known, well, well-known cult movie. classic about a tire that kills people. I think I got bored during that one. That was a weird one though. There's like a whole audience of people that are just supposedly watching it all happen as the film is narrated and like occurring near them, and they're just like sitting in a field like watching the plot happen. It's like what? It's it's a very strange film. I have like a very. Uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Where am I? What has happened? Go into the... go into there! Go into there! Oh! Oh! Devouring eating, his son, devouring his son! Yes! Why is it always Saturn devouring his son Cause every it, time? Cause it, that's Because it's a freaking horrifying image. <laughs> it's always Saturn devouring his son every time. Oh, there's oh, a thing! The cat's back. Are you- are you here to eat me? <laughs> I feel like I evoked this into being, because earlier I said, for me, daddy. You did, and it's and daddy. That's, that's what Saturn devouring his son it is, is. It is literally... You finally wake, see through all this. Yeah, it just loops. There we go. It just throws you into the Saturn devouring his son room. God, that's gonna go on a list. I, eventually, I'm just gonna end up making a list, like out with all my compulsive galleries. But this one's just gonna be all the games that have Saturn devouring his son. Well, dude, that painting by Goya is yeah. so freaking good. No, it's really evocative. It's, it's all, probably one of my favorite paintings at this point. All of his uh, later paintings, where he started going crazy, are like ama they're amazing. And I want to visit his house, um, where he painted a drool over the walls. The real one. Well, he just drew all over his walls, yeah. like, because he went crazy. Well, that's that. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, Vormy Daddy. <laughs> Keith, predicted, Keith predicted the future. That's actually the real title of that, and they, they fancied it up, because it was just from his private collection, and no one was going to see it, so they're all, like, funny, ridiculous, like, insane titles, and then it was like, oh, uh, yeah, so this, this is Saturn devouring his son. <laughs> They, they they gave it a new like stick out your pinky title. <laughs> what is the title again? I don't remember. I'll think of his wormy daddy. <laughs> Ew. Well, sorry. Orange County. I don't mean to diss talk Orange County. Your favorite place. I, I saw the word Slurpee. Elon's children, the beige, middle class housing, the beige, sprinklers, the beige. Your skateboard feels like the only real thing in this place. Oh, you're like an edgy teen. Wow. Little houses on the hillside. Little, little houses, houses made, made of ticky tacky. And they're all... Wait. So with little houses something something. And they're all made out of ticky tacky and they all look just the same. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember the exact lyrics anymore. No. Little houses Mouse on the handling hillside. Little brightness. houses made Resolution. of ticky Little houses on the hillside. No. There's a this one and a that one and a ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. They all made out of ticky tacky and they all look just that song gets burned in your brain if you watch weeds. 
It's actually it's it's a great song. It's the intro to every single episode. She uh, toggles her skateboard. As a as a Californian, <laughs> ah ah, whoa, <laughs> no, you did that wrong. I played for three seconds. You're the worst skateboarder I've ever seen. Holy crap! No, I like how I just said no. <laughs> That's funny. Is that what happened? Did it chase me because I skateboarded? No, I think you just. Oh fuck! Oh god! What the hell? What is this? A monorail? <laughs> monorail. All right. Okay. Hey, where is he? Ollie is space. What is a uh, why are you why are you trying to Ollie? I have to Ollie. I have to Ollie in order to uh, go up on ledges. On the, yeah, on the on the sidewalk. What the oh, up up? Mm -mm. Um, soda. Is that good? Can you make the game colorful. It looked ominous. The machines like making faces at you. Yeah, Kiaras. No, I was a Californian. I've I've not heard great things of Orange County. And then there's also like that TV show, The OC. And not that that is like the definite representation. It's just that there are certain like, it, like Orange County, is like kind of known for being uppity. Isn't that where the that's that's the point. That's the setting of the OC, right? That's why it's called that. Yeah. The show. Yeah. I don't know if I know anything about the OC. Um, it's just it's just very beautiful people. Was who... that just like nano two one zero and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. Just... Isn't isn't uh? The beautiful people. The beautiful people. What is? Wait, I gotta. Chips and salsa. Oh. I, I guess that's what came out of the vending machine. I walked away before it actually finished. Chips and salsa. Out of a vending machine? Brilliant. Grind. Huh! Jesus, it's the fuss. It's the fuss. Do people in the OC say that? And across the street dramatically. Oh, he's here. Is this the whole game? <laughs> I don't know if I have a goal or not. Uh, Orange County is like Anaheim, Laguna Beach, grind on that? Huntington Beach, Irvine, oh. San Clemente. Um, it, it's just, I think I'm it's... I'm grinding. It's just like in Tony Hawk's Pro Skator. I am a pro skator. It is I, Skater Boy. She says, see you later, boy. <laughs> uh, he wasn't good enough for her. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was happening? Are those water fountains? Oh yeah, those are just water fountains. Okay. Ooh. Are Why you? Why is the game getting worse? <laughs> are you okay? Why are you out skating at night? How bad was the salsa? I'm a little bit like I feel like this is like a some person in Orange County having a like a it's drug a risky trip. Business deciding to skate at night. Yeah, no, this is like what people do when they're tweakers. Like this is not. Um. I think that's. I think the road uh, said no fun stop on it. I this don't. Is, <laughs> this is called the no fun zone. The beige. Yeah, I think it's just. It's like a lot of Fortune 500 companies. <gasps> I've been looking at the beige lately because I've, I've, I've been watching Better Call Saul again. And that's a very beige. Albuquerque is a very beige setting. Well, I think that beige, I think, more so just implies, like, suburbia, yeah. uh, conformity. Beige is just, you know. Well, I think I've got my fill of that one. I don't really get it. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what I'm trying to do. Place in a world without change. You might create by... You must create You, you must, must create, create fate, fate by watering an ancient plant to remember in a future and live within it live with it yeah Can't, is the plant gonna be like our friend oh uh, we're gonna hug discomfort flashing lights seizures, and images 
Warning, everyone. Warning. Just like in the 90s, gaming is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, try avoiding flashing lights like in 90s video games. Like, good luck, or epileptic Pokemon. kids. Yeah, a Porygon. Porygon, no. Porygon fucked up a whole generation of children. BB. The logo's back. This is the, I think it's the first one to show the logo in the game. I want to hug him. He, he's my friend. <laughs> he looks huggable. He's cute. But then, it, then the P will coil around you. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Fatum Betula Fate. Oh, uh, that is fate, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> In Initium, Initium begin. begin. Exodus, exit. Options is the same as options. Options, options. Yeah, that's stuck in my head now, Keith. Little what? houses on, on the hillside. Little, hill it's a good little song houses to be stuck made of ticky tack. Little and houses on the hillside. <laughs> little houses all the same. There is a that We'll have to double check what the real lyrics one. are. I, I, and the, like, the first two lines I know are right. Oh. Well. It's night, I'll shoot it with an arrow and it'll open a door. That's a plant. Is it? Yes. I feel like I, it's gonna water itself, honestly. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think we need to intervene in this. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Well then. Goodbye. There's a carpet on the ceiling. Must be a, a nice to afford such luxuries. <laughs> as a ceiling carpet. Let me out. The tree's threatening me. Can you... Say hello, friend. Help, how do I play the game? Was the water going up the walls? Yes. Incorrect. That's not how things Well, do. I mean, this I tree dare. is also floating. Yeah, I have several questions. Oh, a letter. Some say the air itself has a face. I don't. It's true. <laughs> a child once bore witness to its piercing eyes. Wrecked with grief, she traveled to the end of a narrow stone path atop a river and pleaded the uh, cold to show itself. The sight of nothing stole her gaze, and she waited still. A horrible row of teeth soon reflected her image, and she was gone. The wind stole her, not with change, but with truth. What? So don't try to talk to Is the this wind. Is a Ouija thing? I don't know. Tab is inventory, E is interact. He uses left mouse. So this is my inventory right here. See if anything has changed now that you've read that letter. Sometimes game, you know, a lot of these games are like that. <laughs> Can no. I go under the stairs? <laughs> that looks like my inventory. Um, is the letter the letter still closed in your inventory? Is there another one Can or I look at it with it? No, no. Do we need to like go stare off into the nothingness and see if it'll show its face? There's the and eat us. It's like a it's like a seeing stone or something. Hmm. Do I need to walk through for the first ten seconds of this game? <laughs> um. She traveled to the end of a narrow stone path atop a river and pleaded the cold to show itself. That's what I'm wondering is, that, do you have to just go up there and like stare off for like 10 seconds or something? Like you have to wait for something to show itself to you? I mean, to do what that person in the story did? Hands off the controllers. Oh fuck. Uh... Th that actually, I don't, that freak, that, that mm. Hi. Air, air face. 
How's it? Hello. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Do it again. Uh, it just disappeared. Well, that was spooky. I was right about like it was taking too long, and I was right about to say something like, "If something walks down the hallway, I'm gonna f it's gonna freak me out." <laughs> that's uh, that, that that's pretty effective. How do I talk to it? Uh, it was E interact. Can you do something? Or just wait? Consider this tree and our land to be one and the same. A synecdoche. Synecdoche, New, New York. York! Both are kept between the living and the dead. This ancient water holds its roots in limbo. As such, everything here has failed to accept entropy. I've considered us to have not existed in a previous state at all. The plant is our fate, and its water our fuel. I will provide you with the tools to make alterations. Do whatever you must, but don't feed it with what you bleed. Uh. Did he throw Just gave me something. scissors at you? Don't feed it with what you bleed. Like, like am I not worthy? Need to fill that up in the water. So don't put blood in that. <laughs> I guess. Or else. <laughs> um, one of them was yeah. Click was used. Use that on the root. No. Still really unclear how to play the game. I figure that is water. I'm pressing E and left click, and neither of them do anything. I mean, its roots already reaching, like, it's, you know, it's good. It's helping itself, gosh dang it. Yeah, all my favorite plants that I have are ones that are in water. They're aquatic, I don't have to water them, it's very nice. I'm not good at that kind of consistency. This game's a struggle, apparently. Huh. How would I feed it what I bleed? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the thing it told us not to do. Yeah, how do I fill my... How do I bleed? Hel Stephanie, how do I bleed? Right from the heart. Teach me how to bleed. I'll show you, punk. <laughs> I'll feed you what you bleed. What's that? Is there something? No, wait. In the hallway. I thought it, it was all dark for a second. I thought maybe it was it had changed scenery, but I don't think so. I think you're just uh, you're too far away from it to see. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh. Are you some out? It worked this time. Why is the loading screen got four vials and I didn't get three vials? Huh? That is a door, and it's floating, and it's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> oh, this game got way bigger. Oh, good job. Oh. Start over. <laughs> you have to summon the, the creature again. I'm surprised there wasn't invisible walls or anything. Ah, there Oh, we this go. is very pleasant. Or is it? Blood of your hands on the bamboo tree. Well, this is nice. These support my weight? No, you drown. <laughs> yeah, in real life, definitely not. Look at those fish down there. Yeah. It's very, this is very, Just very jump pleasant. jump in and bite them. I don't trust Catch it. Catch them with your mighty jaws. I don't trust how pleasant this seems. I'm worried. You are correct. Can I climb up this? You know, maybe there's stairs on the other side. Am I slowly growing? <laughs> there's that visual momentum. Yeah, I... Ah! ah. <laughs> All right, don't go that way. You are unable to step on ledges. Oh, there you go. 
many a spice. What is the... He's just chill. What is that? Um... I... What? It looks like a fish, but it looks like it has legs. It's also just chilling next to him. Maybe it's a lobster. Maybe... I don't know. He's just hanging out. Why are his knees exposed? Uh... Oh, I guess he's got shorts. He's got shorts on. He's wearing... Or a skirt or something. And then yeah, he's, got, he's wearing... Like, chin wraps. Yeah. 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 I thought he just had, like, torn out knees. That checks out. That checks out. Sleepy. Whoa, you actually can do that. It's Minecraft. <laughs> uh oh Uh-oh. 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 Yo. Uh, 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 what does that mean? Is, is that, is that Fatum Batula? Is that... Neko Yumi? Is that, like, bitch, go water your fucking tree because you fucking just, forgot? Does that just mean Neko Yumi? The left symbol looks like Neko. <laughs> it looks similar to what we had to see before. It does because it has the window and it has the it has the, the eyes blaring eyes and yeah. has like the figure on the side. What the fuck, Adili? It's mad at you because you didn't water your tree. No, I didn't mean to. Oh god, yeah, I didn't water the tree and then I slept long enough for it to die. And so we end. With like the worst ending ever, like you you forgot to water your tree. You, you always talk about the games where they tell you to water your tree. Uh, you you, you don't want that way. You want to go infinite feedback. That way. Is it, did it force me to go back when I went this way? Yes. Wow, how disorienting. Yeah. Ooh, spooky. Um. What's in your inventory now? Is it still water? Yep. Can you... I... Still just water? Okay. Just... I was like, what if I fill it with that? What's just... that? Was that there before? No. Is that a bird fishing? Is it? <laughs> just don't, uh, just don't put blood in there. It's the only lesson that we've learned. I think we should definitely put blood in there if we get a chance, though. Oh, he looks happy. He's disemboweled. Or something. Oh, that makes him look less happy. Um, sir? Sir? Uh, sir? Put blood in there. Put blood in there. We gotta, we gotta poison the tree. It's gonna be full of poopy blood. <laughs> He's like thinking, like... Mm. Is he holding something in his other hand? Why is he got his other hand up? He's, He's just holding onto the ceiling and he's hanging down. And he's thinking with his hand. Sir? Sir? This is my house. What is happening? I'm just gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> I actually let you, I'm surprised. Your tree's definitely dead now. Have I awoken from my nidmar? I am free of my nidmar. Goodbye. I can water this plant, probably. Uh -huh. <laughs> Falling in things. It's, it's a hell of an undertow. <laughs> You must be very short. <laughs> I can't water this plant either. I'm a horrible protagonist for this kind of game, as it turns out. The, the tree watering simulator. Because he refuses to water anything. Alright, let's escape the nightmare before it sucks me back in again. <clears throat> as you do. What is that? Oh. What is that? You can't read that at all. There's oh. a note here. It reads, if you are reading this, I am dead. This tool once aided my research, and I hope it will do you the same. Be warned, I fear this blade has become weak with age, and it may have only a few strikes in it. So you have a choice to strike yourself or strike the tree. Go kill the tree. No, Get me. <laughs> well. I'm, I'm like... Instant sabotage. <laughs> that fish gives no fucks. He's very flaccid about it in his attempts. This little area is interesting, though. Yeah, it's a little fishing hole. Or a little pond, relaxation pond, I guess. Probably don't fish those fish. Yeah, yeah, they're probably for enjoyment. These fishes are fun, not food. That's the door I came from. Is that another strange cat again? Why what's with Ooh, all the cats? Tell, dude, cats are fuck fucky. Cats are fucking fucky. What is up with the cat theme that we're encountering? 
cats are just problems. They just want you dead. Oh my gosh! He killed him! <laughs> he killed him. Uh, put, put his blood in a vial, give it to the tree and kill it. There we go. Oh my gosh, you did. Was was it say when you when you was it say when you hover over it? Beast blood. Oh Beast my blood. gosh. <laughs> what have we done? We killed, the, we killed the cat before he got us. It wasn't even doing anything. It just was standing there. <laughs> Sarah's not available in the demo. Oh, I'm scared about that. <laughs> what does this mean? Like 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 what else is there? I think that's just a joking like. I think they're implying that there's more game, but actually it's just the edges of the of this game because the the gimmick is that it's a demo disc. Hey, for, well, you should try watering it with normal water first and see. I tried if, already several times. Just pour it, pour it. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Well, that's how you water it. Well, that seems weird. Like, why why would we put water in there? We wouldn't think to do that because there's already water there. We did bad, guys. <laughs> With the bad thing. What a rapscallion I am. We are cursed with a tendency for violence. Sounds like it's laughing at us. Individuals are easy, easy to, to kill. kill. <laughs> <laughs> the tree doesn't trust you anymore. Again, nothing changes, but more blood spills. An endless river. Systems now refuse to be created. What sort of systems? Ticky tacky. People won't talk. Each conflict ends with a knife. What a very dramatic, like, picture. Community will never arise. You fucked the whole world, Keith. Ending two. Murderers! Yeah. 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 Bryce Butcher. Bleh. We fucked everything up. <laughs>